Hi, beautiful people. So who, show of hands, has heard of the term religious refugee? And I'm gonna guess the answer is no one because I made it up. <laughs> And, and the reason that I made this term up is because I have been working with and really starting to specialize in folks that are leaving toxic and even abusive um, spiritual environments. And so the, you know, I've, I've to, I, I, so actually you can head over to the blog and see a full 10 signs of toxic spiritual environments um, in the written blog, but I'm going to talk about one of them, one of, of the big ones today. And that is um, the sense that anything related to the body, um, normal human development, like you know, developing body hair, or if you're a woman getting your period, um, normal sexual development. This isn't just for, for women. Um, but also I've experienced this with men too, of just being really shamed about their bodies. And, um, especially for women though, there's this sense that your body doesn't belong to you, um, that it maybe belongs to men or belongs to God. And, I've seen this time and time again where it really sets up and even justifies rape or domestic violence um, or even punishment of children and that there's that there's this real sense that even saying no is not your right and it's coupled with this sense of of shame um, and and control and although I've said this in past video blogs, I, I feel that it's important to reiterate that, you know, when, when our abuse is being perpetrated by a human, there's some sense that their power is limited. Um, but if God is seen as a punishing God or as a angry God, um, there's this sense that his ability to abuse or punish you is unlimited and that really and even and sometimes even fear is seen as pious and so we learn to really hate ourselves and hate our bodies and live in this state of fear and if that's the primary message that can be a real sign of a, a toxic spiritual environment and so what I want you to hear if you're if you're questioning if you're in a toxic spiritual environment or um, if you've already left one, the one thing that I really want you to know is that you're not alone, that you are loved, and that the, the universe, the divine, God, whatever you wanna call it, is on your team and has your back. And um, your body can actually be a really great sign if something is not quite right, if you're feeling shut down, if you're feeling nauseous, if you're feeling checked out, um, if you're feeling like you're cutting off from something, that can be your body's way and your body is a really great messenger of saying something's not quite right here. So I encourage you to listen to your body and feel free to check out the whole written um, you know, signs of toxic spiritual environments at avoscounseling.com. All right, hold each other tight, my dears. Be well.